Do you know what's the worst surprise during a leisurely outing? Encountering one of the planet's colossal predators. This video unfolds in the wilds of British Columbia, where the vast and untamed landscape is home to formidable wildlife. Ralph, an avid hunter, embarked on this adventure with Trophy West, but he had no idea what he was about to face. Yes, wait here. Take your gun. No, 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 no. I feel like he's having good eaten right now. Oh. Ralph, a seasoned hunter, ventured into the wilds with his fellow hunters armed with both a crossbow and a rifle. As Ralph scanned the forest for his prey, little did he know that the real challenge would come from an unexpected source. Ralph, get back. That's my way. Hey, that's why I just wanted to get clear for a shot. Suddenly, an angry black bear charged right towards Ralph. The danger was imminent and panic set in. It was a critical moment that would change everything. The bear, displaying uncanny intelligence, seemed to realize that it was outmatched and promptly aborted its charge. Two young bears approach a car occupied by Russian locals, both displaying curiosity, unaware of the potential consequences of their interactions. One of the bears boldly approaches the car, sparking a rather bold move from one of the passengers. What's he thinking? It seems like he had a bit too much liquid courage as he attempts to pet the bear. But whoa, that could have gone south real fast, and he quickly rethinks his decision, accompanied by some nervous laughter. Now here's the deal. Juvenile bears might look cute, but they're often followed closely by their fierce mama bear, ready to defend her cubs with all she's got. <laughs> And this story takes an interesting twist just moments later when the protective mama bear arrives to check out what's going on. Upon realizing the size and power of the mother bear, the group promptly decides to drive away. Picture this. A regular day at Yosemite National Park, folks enjoying nature's beauty. But wait, a giant of giants appears on the scene. This colossal creature eyes the visitors from afar, moving stealthily, sizing them up. Everything seems fine until the predator makes its fateful decision. <laughs> Suddenly, the bear locks onto the group, triggering a natural, heart-pounding response. No one wants to invite this hungry beast for a picnic. Things could go south pretty fast. For a heartbeat, it seems like their tactics might just do the trick. The bear second guesses itself multiple times, but when hunger's on the line, that usually wins out. Lucky for these adventurers, this wasn't one of those times. The bear retreats, seemingly spooked by the group's fearless stand. It's a universal rule. Never approach a mother, especially a bear, when her cubs are around, as they can become impervious to bullets during such moments. See her? Hey, Mom! She just came through this gap. She's coming this way. She comes around. These not-so-bright hunters were well aware of the mother bear's presence on the hill, but their questionable decision was to stand their ground and holler, seeking her attention. Care at all. I mean, while these three cubs are behind her like, what's going on, what's up, mom, what's going on? I will shoot, I will, I'm gonna kill this sow. Get up, get up, get up. And she spawned. Of course, their wish was granted as she charged towards them, prompting the hunters to open fire. Bullets grazed her, and she quickly retreated to the side. Hopefully, they've learned their lesson. So here we are, right in the heart of a place that some of you might recognize. But here's the deal. What you're about to see is just your everyday bear behavior. Nothing too wild, just a chill encounter. Hey, bear. Here, come with me. Oh. You get behind me. Hey, bear. Hey! 
Meet our star of the show, a young, decent-sized bear. He's all jazzed up and clearly curious about something. Check out that little pawing dance. Super cute, right? Well, here's the kicker. It's not an attack, and it's definitely not something to lose sleep over. At the time, yeah, it was nerve-wracking because our furry friend here was coming in fast. But honestly, this is just your typical bear move. Ah. Fine. Oh. Back up, guys. Leave. But here's the twist. There's some local law stuff that makes the bears here a tad more sociable than in other parts of the state. It's a common vibe among other guides and outfitters in the area. When a family found themselves at an unplanned traffic stop, they had no idea they'd be in for a spine-tingling wildlife encounter. Oh, oh, shut up, shut up. The park ranger on the scene quickly spots a sizable bear charging their way, sending him sprinting to his car in record time. After grabbing his rifle, he wastes no time firing warning shots around the creature, hoping to give it second thoughts. The animal, perhaps startled, beats a hasty retreat into the woods, sparing everyone from an adrenaline-pumping showdown. Picture this. Hunters perched high in the treetops, patiently awaiting a bear to mosey over and check out the bait they've cunningly scattered around. The real trick? Keep cool as a cucumber so you don't tip off the unsuspecting visitor. These hunters have mastered the art of staying zen as the bear inches closer and closer, almost directly below them. It's like the bear's got no idea what's lurking right above its head. But then, as it glances upward, something clicks. The bear panics, shooting up the tree like a furry rocket. Keep in mind, these hunters are no strangers to tree climbing themselves. One of them takes swift action, facing down the bear, and guess what? The bear retreats, bounding back into the deep, dark jungle. You can see the relief written all over the hunter's face. In the heart of the wilderness, Richard, a seasoned outdoors enthusiast, ventured forth fully equipped for the challenges nature had in store. An audacious bear, undaunted by his presence, fearlessly approached the hunter. In a jaw-dropping twist of fate, the bear dared to climb the very ladder on which Richard stood. The sheer audacity of this encounter left everyone involved in utter disbelief. As if that wasn't enough to quicken your pulse, the bear proceeded to gnaw on Richard's hunting gear, displaying a level of curiosity and boldness rarely witnessed in the wild. These majestic creatures may appear cute with their fluffy white fur, but make no mistake, they're apex predators, always prepared to switch roles and consider humans as prey. Unaware of this, the tourists are seen feeding the bear. As they continue to feed the bear, the excitement escalates and the bear's behavior becomes increasingly unpredictable. It attempts to climb into the boat, foreshadowing the looming danger. It charges and lunges at the gaps and openings in the confined space where the people have sought refuge, terrifying everyone on board. The bear's relentless pursuit leaves the passengers shaken, but fortunately it fails to catch anyone, sparing them from a close encounter that could have ended tragically. So picture this. 
a hiker stumbles upon a black bear high up in a tree. But here's where it gets wild. The bear comes down from the tree, and then something really terrifying happens that almost makes the hiker lose his cool. Just as things start getting really intense, a gunshot rings out and the bear slams the brakes on. Our hiker buddy is now caught between a rock and a hard place, thinking escape is a long shot. So he plays it cool, hoping the bear's got more nerves than he does. No. You better get. Lucky for the hiker, in that nerve-wracking moment, the bear decides not to go all grisly on him and walks away, leaving him unscathed, at least for now. Phew. Imagine this. A bunch of tourists are out there recording this colossal, intimidating polar bear from a safe distance. But then the scene suddenly shifts to this massive polar bear already peeking through a tiny gap where the tourists are sitting. Yep, they go from feeling okay to, well, you'll see. At first, the tourists are kind of chill about it, not super worried, but trust me, things take a quick turn for the wild when this giant predator decides to make a move. Okay, back off, everybody. There we, now we end the crack, everybody. Out of the crack. After the bear's failed attempt, these tourists didn't give up on that epic video. They keep on filming, just from a bit more of a safe distance this time. Gotta get that content, right? Let's take a wild journey at Katmai Wilderness Lodge. We got a front row seat to an exciting encounter with a young brown bear. This adolescent brown bear had just been doing a bit of roughhousing and maybe some light bullying with its sibling. It was all good and fun, or at least it seemed that way. But with bears, you can never be too certain, right? The tour guide managed to gently push this inquisitive bear back, diffusing the situation in no time. It's one of those moments where you can feel the adrenaline surging through the air. The unpredictability of wild creatures always keeps you on your toes, that's for sure. Picture this. A ski instructor on a beautiful slope spots a surprise guest. A bear making an unexpected appearance. What happens next is nothing short of incredible. Tenosh. Hi there. No we no chiar așa. Hi there. As if one bear encounter wasn't thrilling enough, this ski instructor crosses paths with the same curious and perhaps a bit mischievous bear. This time their encounter seemed to stretch out and you could almost feel the curiosity and maybe a bit of an appetite for what the bear thought might come from reuniting with an old friend. <laughs> The guy wasn't making fun of the bear. He was trying to keep everyone calm while joking that the bear was cute. He intentionally made the bear chase him to divert its attention away from the other skiers, essentially using himself as a bear bait to ensure the safety of the group. Out in the wilds of northeastern Pennsylvania, bear sightings were causing quite a stir. As they pressed deeper into the woods, the rustling of leaves added palpable tension to the air. It was as if the forest itself had come alive, watching their every move like a vigilant guardian. Unbeknownst to them, the bear followed along, moving stealthily, thinking it had gone unnoticed. This 
snorting sound is the horses. Heartbeats raced and footsteps hastened as their eyes locked with the bears, creating a fleeting connection that spanned two entirely different worlds. Survival instincts kicked in, and their group expertly navigated their way to evade the bear, all the while underlining their actions with a deep respect overshadowed by a healthy dose of fear. There's this bear, and the locals have given it the adorable name Angel. She's kind of a regular around these parts, and you won't believe it, but the sweet scent of treats somehow convinced Angel to pay a visit to a neighbor's yard on a sunny day. Okay, here's where it gets really wild. Someone caught this whole scene on camera. You've got Angel tiptoeing her way to the porch like a snack ninja. She goes all graceful and snags a handful of the munchies laid out for her. Word about Angel's bold snacking mission quickly spread like wildfire, and right here in these cozy suburban streets, the legend of Angel the Snacking Bear was born. I mean, who needs Netflix when you've got real-life bear adventures right in your backyard, right? We'll take you to the heart of California's rugged wilderness. So there's a woman minding her own business just parked by the roadside enjoying the peace and quiet, when all of a sudden, massive brown bear cub shows up from the thickets and just nonchalantly plops down next to her car. No big deal, right? There we go. But hold up, reality kicks in. She had this duel going on inside her head between instinct and curiosity. She knows that even a cute bear cub could mean trouble down the line. Heart pounding like it's in a drum line, she decides to back up inch by inch to keep things cool and avoid any bear drama. Her car becomes a great wall of protection. Meanwhile, that bear cub, totally unfazed, it's like the James Dean of the wilderness, just chilling. Her relief is palpable when she finally hits the open road again, and when she checks her rear view mirror, what does she see? The bear cub, just sitting there. We have a humongous bear, and when it thunders past, you can practically feel the earth shake. It's awe-inspiring, but also a little hair-raising because they're just so close you could almost smell its breath. And trust me, this bear ain't your average zoo bear. Nope, the shredded fish lying around is proof that it's been through some serious bear brawls. Hunger gleams in its eyes, and you can just picture those epic bear showdowns you've seen in photos. But our adventurous crew, they're not backing down. They're all about embracing the wild, not with fear but with a deep attraction to the untamed. It's the kind of tale you just gotta share around the campfire, don't you think? These hikers are just minding their own business, and suddenly this grisly beast starts heading their way with all the charm of a freight train. But here's where things get interesting. Suddenly, the bear hits the brakes. Maybe it's thrown off because these hikers aren't budging an inch. They're standing their ground, and the grizzly is taking a moment to weigh its options. There you go. The bear decides to pull a sneaky move, ducking behind some foliage. Then it takes off. Still curious, but clearly a bit unsettled by the situation. The grizzly's not ready to call it quits just yet. Luckily for our brave hikers, the bear's curiosity doesn't last forever, 
and it eventually loses interest, scampering away. You see, bears have this incredible knack for tree climbing, but it varies between species. Black bears, they're like the ninja acrobats of the bear world. Grizzlies and polar bears, not so much, because of their hefty size. But here's where the plot thickens. The first bear quickly loses interest in our hunter's tree stand and decides it's not worth the climb. Lucky break, right? Well, not so fast. Enter our hunter's buddy, who is about to have a much closer encounter than he bargained for. Another bear, not as hesitant as the first, manages to pull off the tree stand ascent. Get him! Get him! Get out of here! That's high enough! So what do our brave hunters do? They go all out to scare the bear away, yelling, pointing their guns. It's a tense standoff. Finally, the predator decides that these guys aren't worth the trouble. It's a quick descent from the tree stand, and the hunters can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Here we see this adorable bear cub. But you know the deal with these little fur balls, right? You never want to get too cozy, especially if mama bears in the neighborhood. No, you can't get up here. You're back. You need to go where you live. Yeah, you need to go. Now this little cub here seems to have a special bond with the lady behind the camera. It's creeping in way too close to her car. But it's clear this cub isn't too thrilled with the constant chit-chat from the lady. She's got a quiver in her voice. It's understandable. That cub's gaze is intense and it's leaving her on edge and us on the edge of our seats. <laughs> You're just gonna lay down again. Mm? Is that your trick? Is it your... And then, you won't believe it, this little buddy decides to just plonk down in the middle of the road. What's it waiting for, you think? Probably a snack, am I right? After some quality bare human time, the lady eventually decides to hit the road leaving our curious little bear cub all by its lonesome. This bear casually strolls across the road and heads right into the forest, getting scarily close to the guy's house. And no matter how many times our man here tries to shoo it away, this bear's just not having any of it. Uh-oh. Dude. But hey, our guy doesn't give up, not for a second. He's like a relentless bear whisperer, pestering it over and over, all in an attempt to get this fur ball to hit the road. Until, surprise, the bear just hits the pause button. Let's just say he loses his cool when the bear goes all zen standing still, giving him the evil eye, and to top it off, he pulls a move that might just be the definition of risky business, nearly sprinting away from one of the most dangerous predators in North America. But hey, guess what? This bear apparently decided it was taking the day off, letting our guy off the hook. These hikers find themselves right smack in the middle of a bear's turf, and guess what? The bear is right in the middle of hunting mode. Now you don't want to be on a collision course with a hungry bear, and these guys are not helping their own case because they're out here catching fish, basically the same grub the bear's after. Now they know they can't just run or try to act tough because that could totally backfire. So they decide to go into full stealth mode, making sure the bear understands they're not there to mess with it. And in the end, the bear just decides to pack up and leave the party, maybe off to find dinner elsewhere. Out in the distance, there's this brown bear on the horizon, and it's like it's on a mission heading straight for our guy. Now, trying to outrun a brown bear in terrain like this? Yeah, that's a no-go.
As the bear gets closer, the stakes are climbing, and with no easy escape plan, our man decides to pull a bold move. He's banking on some good old-fashioned intimidation. And it actually works, believe it or not. The bear looks all confused, trying to figure out where that loud yell came from. It just stands there, staring the man down, maybe thinking if it's really worth messing with him. But guess what? The bear eventually decides it's not worth it, and our man lives to tell the tale of this wild encounter. So picture this, just a regular day in the village, the camera rolling, but something's not quite right. There's no one in sight, almost like the whole town's gone into hiding. Then, the reason for this eerie silence becomes clear. You know how in movies the villain makes his grand entrance? Well, this massive polar bear is doing just that, strolling through the village like it owns the place. In times like these, the smart move is to lay low, stay out of sight, and let this terrifying predator do its thing. Just hang tight until it decides to move out of your town. And that's exactly what the locals do, ignoring the bear and letting it make its grand exit. Let me take you to the wilds of Alaska, where we've got Mary, the fearless kayaker. She's on this solo mission going from Ketchikan to Petersburg. But you know, sometimes the wilderness has its own plans. I can pepper spray you in the face. That's what I'm gonna do to you. Before things went haywire, Mary stashed her gear in this secluded cabin to let it dry out. She was just enjoying her lunch when she heard a noise that could wake the dead, revealing the bear's surprise visit. Now, with her back against the wall, she decides to take a dip and swim over to a nearby German flagged sailboat. They might not have had a radio, but those sailors stepped up to the plate and rescued her, giving her a safe haven in Rangel before she hopped on a ferry back to Ketchikan. So these folks up at Logan Pass are having a grand old time just enjoying their day. But suddenly, the party takes a nosedive with the arrival of an extremely unwelcome guest. Yeah, he just wants to get through. These folks take off running at the mere sight of the grizzly. I mean, can you blame them? Even though they're a bunch, the bear's audacity to crash their little shindig doesn't exactly bode well. But hold on, the park ranger. She's not messing around. She steps up and takes charge, trying to scare that grizzly away. And it's working, at least for a while, until the bear decides to pull a vanishing act. Then, just when it seems like all hope is lost, the ranger spots the grizzly. She goes in for one final attempt to shoo it away with the whole gang. And guess what? She knows what she's doing. It's like watching a pro in action. This hunter is up in his hunting cage, keeping an eye out for game. But here's the catch. He doesn't notice this big old black bear sniffing around real close. It's in a blind spot, completely out of his view. And let me tell you, He's terrified. He starts recording and talking real clear, explaining how he ended up in this situation with a bear just inches away on the hunt for some grub. It's like a scene right out of a movie, with our hunter trying his best to stay hidden, and the bear doing its own hunting thing. He was right beside my blind here. Thank God I'm in this safe cage. No Because he was great. If that bear wanted to, it could bust through that flimsy cage like it's made of toothpicks. 
you know what? The bear doesn't think the guy's worth the trouble. It takes off shortly after leaving our nervous hunter to catch his breath. This guy is leaving his office building, heading toward his parked van. All is normal until, as he turns the corner, his leisurely stroll turns into a statue-like freeze. takes a few careful steps back, hoping not to spook the furry intruder. Summoning his inner bravery, he clears his throat and claps his hands, trying to shoo the bear away. But the bear, it just looks up. Let's see, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go grab the bear spray real quick. There's a mix of annoyance and curiosity in its eyes, but it's not moving from its treasure trove. Growing more desperate by the second, he thinks fast. He unlocks his van, grabs his trusty bear spray, and with trembling hands he aims and sprays. These hikers are out on a trek in the wilds of Alaska, and little did they know they're about to find themselves in quite the pickle. They've accidentally allowed a bear to come dangerously close. At first, this bear seems to be minding its own business, not really interested in the hikers. But then, suddenly, it's like a switch flips and the bear starts heading straight for them. You can practically see the alarm written all over the tour guide's body language as he whips out a revolver, just in case things go south. Luckily, this guide has nerves of steel. He doesn't budge, and that makes the bear think twice about its life choices. The tables turn, and our guy decides to go on the offensive, trying to give the bear a good scare. Looks like he did a pretty good job of it. Talk about a wild encounter, right? 